Jerry at Fair Oaks. How do you think you got along in that history exam today? Mm, all right, I think. <laughs> Professor Custis doesn't ask such tough questions. Gee, I thought he did. I don't know how I got along. I can't say I like these midterm exams very much. Oh, just think what they lead up to, my pal. Uh, vacation. Ten whole days of vacation. Whoopee! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Hey, what are you going to do during vacation, Lee? Mm, I don't know yet. I think maybe I'll just loaf around here, take some hikes up here, walk the canyon, do some rowing and read at night. Maybe once in a while take in a movie. Uh, you're going to the circus winter quarters, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Mr. Randall's coming up for the exercises at the end of this week, and then we're going back together. Golly, I'll be glad to see all the folks there. Bumps and Major Might and Olson and Whitey and Jim Bennett. Who's he, Jerry? I don't think you mentioned him before. Jim Bennett? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's Mr. Randall's business manager. Oh. Yeah, I guess it will be fun for you to see all your old friends again. Oh, it sure will. Well, <clears throat> I'm ready. Are you? I'm just about. Wait till I get this short shirt on. Uh, there. Okay, come on. Right out. <laughs> you sound like Bruce. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I meant to. Oh, I'm certainly anxious to get started in rowing practice, aren't you? Ah, oh, you bet. Say, I'll make you guys really work out there. Oh, you will, huh? Yeah, man. That's a coxswain's job, isn't it? Well, maybe. But the coach is the real boss. Oh, sure, I know that. He tells me what to do, then I tell the crew what to do. <laughs> <laughs> for once, Cadet Phillips, I'll be able to really boss you around. I'll get back at you for all the times you made me pour water for you in the mess hall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, say, there's Ted Metcalf. Yeah, he's coming down this way. Uh-huh. Hey, just a minute, Lee. Hey, he's calling to you. Hey, do we salute? I never can remember. No, Jerry, we're not in uniform. Just stand at attention till he gives us at ease. Uh, yes, sir. At ease, men. Any recruit turn on? Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Good. Captain Rowland's anxious to have a good bunch of recruits. You're pretty light, though, aren't you, Jerry? I guess I would be for the crew, sir, but Captain Rowland said I could turn out for Coxon. Oh, I see. Well, uh, Lee, I was just on my way over to Hayward Hall to get you. Major Davis wants to see you. Oh, right now, sir? Yes. He knows you won't be in uniform, but he said it was all right to go over just as you are. Oh, all right, sir. Thank you. Well, I'll see you at the boathouse later, Jerry. Okay. Come on, Jerry. I'll go down to the boathouse with you. I'd like to see the hey. first turn out. Yes, sir. Oh, and forget the sir for the time being. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dad. Yeah, I wonder what Major Davis wants to see Lee about. I don't know, but it must be pretty important, or else he wouldn't have kept him away from crew practice. Yeah. Hmm, I hope it isn't anything bad. You bet, so do I. Well, find out later. Say, are you going to turn out for the crew too, Ted? <laughs> no, football's my sport. And that's all over now. What do you mean, it's all over? Well, this is my last year, Jerry. I'm going on to state college next year. Well, I guess I'll be playing freshman college there. Oh, gee, away. that's swell. Uh, I didn't mean it was swell that you're leaving Fair Oaks, I mean, but... Well, <laughs> oh, you know I know what, what I mean. you mean. You think you'll be going to college when you finish here at Fair Oaks? Oh, I, I don't know yet. It, it's a little too soon to plan that far ahead. Well, I hope you're able to make it. I suppose Lee's got his college or university all picked out, hasn't he? Well, I don't know that either, Ted. We haven't talked about it. I guess he'll be going somewhere, though. He's a good student. Yes, I know he is. Say, uh... Bruce Dow Campbell was telling me that when you fellows were over at Mac's place yesterday afternoon, Mac told you something about 
Well, a big secret he has. Yes, he did. Well, what is it, do you know? No. Of course, he was pretty disappointed, I think, when he found out somebody had beat him to it on inventing that altimeter. Yeah, I know. So maybe his new secret is another invention. He's got a kind of a laboratory fixed up in the back of his place where he's been sort of monkeying around with chemicals. Oh, is that so? I didn't know that. Say, isn't that kind of dangerous for an old fellow like Mac to be playing around with chemicals when he really doesn't know anything about them? Maybe it is, but he says he's been reading up on them. Mm-hmm. Well, here we are. Yeah, go ahead, Dad. Oh, thanks. Hey, quite a crowd here for the first turnout. Yeah. Gee, it doesn't look like there's going to be much chance for a beginner. Oh, don't talk that way, Jerry. A lot of these cadets here are just beginning, too. They are? Why, certainly. And those who have been out before had to begin sometime. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Well, hello, Metcalf. Oh, good afternoon, Captain Rowland. Say, don't tell me we're to have the honor of Fair Oak's big football star turning out for the crew. <laughs> no, sir, I, I wish I could. <laughs> well, I've got too much to do for the rest of the term to graduate. Oh, well, Captain Rowland, this is Cadet Jerry Dugan. Yes, Dugan and I have met. How are you today, son? Fine, thank you, sir. Where's your roommate, Jerry? Isn't Lee going to turn out? Oh, yes, sir. But he had to go over to see Major Davis right now. He'll be here a little later. Fine. Well, we might as well get started. All right, boys. Line up in four lines right across the boathouse. <laughs> Careful now not to bump into any of those shells. You have to handle those with kid gloves. All right. Quiet now. Tension. Now, all we're going to do today is get limbered up a bit. Then I'm going to tell you something about this sport you're turning out for. Spread out, arms length, so your fingertips are just touching. All right. Raise your arms above your head slowly and inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Weigh in, weigh in. Hold it. Exhale. All right. Raise your hands to the front above your heads on the count of one. Bend over and touch the floor on the count of two. Rise on three. Hands at the side on four. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, halt. Now a little stationary running. Ready? <coughs> Fast now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Higher, higher, Benton. Way up. One, two, three, four. All right, now faster, faster. Detail, halt. All right, boys. At ease. All right, quiet, please. Now, boys, you're turning out for one of the greatest, cleanest sports I know of. There isn't any actual physical combat I know. In fact, you're almost always yards away from your opponents. But to me, there's no thrill greater than hearing that gun at the start and watching the bow of one shell nose ahead inch by inch past another. The training's hard, of course. Rigid discipline, no late hours. Lots of exercise and strict diet. You won't be able to eat all the things the rest of the cadets eat. You'll have to sit at a special training table. Pardon me, sir. Yes, Dugan? Do they... Well, uh, is there a water corporal at the training table? Oh, I think we can arrange for you to continue with that honor. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to ask eight of you last year, men, to get into this land shell and show the new cadets what our stroke looks like. Uh, Merrick, you take uh, coxswain. Jock, Bow, Perry, number two, Wheaton, three, yes, Sullivan, four. The rest of you boys gather around here. Parker, five. Say, Ted, have you seen Lee? Six, no, I haven't, Jerry. Seven, seven, I guess he's still up in Custis Hall with Major Davis. Right. Yeah, but I sure wish he'd get here. He's missing a he's lot of important stuff. Oh, well, you can tell him all about it later. Now, you better get over there and watch how Jay Merrick handles this crew. All yeah, okay. right, boys, Thanks, Dad. watch this now. Don't only watch one of the rowers. You boys who are going to turn out for Cox and watch Merrick. Yes, yes. yes sir. Okay, Merrick, take a slow stroke, about 25. Yes, sir. Ready? Throw. 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 Watch that easy slide back, boys. Throw. You see? That equipment Throw. is worked out so that the fulcrum, that is the oar lock, Throw. is so placed that the balance between the stroke Throw. of the rower and the resistance of the water on the oar Throw. gives the greatest degree of leverage. All right, Merrick. Way enough. Way enough. All right, now. You boys who are turning out for rowing, report to Roy Shock over in that corner. And you boys for Coxon, go with Pee Wee Merrick over there. Ask any questions you want to. Okay, go ahead. Come on, gang. 
Now, what question? Uh, Pee-wee, uh... Yeah, Jerry? Uh, I'd like to know what those little wooden blocks are for, the ones you hit the side of the boat with. Shell, Jerry, shell. Oh, yeah, shell. Well, those blocks on a real shell are attached to the ropes on the side onto the rudder. I bang them against the sides of the shell to give them more of a punch to the stroke. Then, if I see that the screw stroke is lagging, I bang them fast, like this. Stroke, stroke. Come on, come on, stroke. And so forth, see? Oh, yeah, I see. Hey, that's swell. Well, how are you getting along over here? Fine, sir. Well, that'll be all for today. You cadets turning out for Coxon for the first time report tomorrow afternoon at this same time to Merrick for further instruction. Yes, yes sir. Okay, you're dismissed. Okay, let's go again. Say, Ted. Yes, Jerry. Where in the heck do you suppose Lee is? Gee, he should have been here. He's here. Huh? He is? Well, why didn't he come into the boathouse? Uh, I don't know, Jerry. I tried to get him to come in, but he said he'd wait until the turnout was dismissed. He wanted to talk with Captain Rowland about something. Jerry, I... I think something's wrong. Wrong? Well, oh, well, where's Lee now? Uh, oh, oh, here he is. He's coming in now. He must have seen the other fellows leaving. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well, well excuse me, Lee. Oh, sure, Jerry, go ahead. Lee? Hello, Jerry. How'd it go today? Oh, swell. You, you should have been here. Yeah? Where's Captain Rowland? He's right over there talking to those older crewmen. Uh, uh, do you want to talk to him? Mm, I'll wait a minute till he gets through. What's the matter, Lee? Oh, I'll tell you all about it later. You, you go on and get your shower. I'll wait for you outside the gym here. Well, okay, Lee. Uh, I'll uh, be in the shower room then. Yeah, okay. How are you, Lee? Oh. Well, hello, Ted. You turning out for crew this year? No, I'm not. I, I just walked down here with Jerry to watch the turnout. But aren't you turning out? No. No, I'm... I'm not turning out. You're not? Oh, me? What's the trouble? Something Major Davis told you? Well, Ted, it... It's awful. What's awful, Lee? What is it? Oh, I... I'm going to have to leave Fair Oaks. <laughs>